Welcome, everybody. This is episode 10 of this podcast. Not to be confused with the other I think it's 11, four. actually. I-, I swear to God, it's 10. Is it 10? Maybe is it's it 11? 10. It might be oh, 11. Jesus Christ. Do we have to check? <laughs> <laughs> Professionalism here at the comic book cast, Matt, folks. Matt, please go check. You're here, to, you're here to listen to us talk about the PS4, and we are here to get confused on what episode we're on. No, nope, yep, we are on pretty... episode 10. I was right. Okay. Oh, right. It's been so long since we've done one. I swear we'll get back to reviewing games, people. <laughs> we will, but this is going to be Sony talk because they just had their conference. Um, okay, let me, I want to say get down this on my knees was a. Uh, okay, this conference was way better than almost every, every, every single conference I've seen at E3 in the last few years. I know how crazy yeah. is that. It was essentially an E3. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. It, it was longer know, than an E3. You know what is crazy to think about? This was, you know, like, their version of E3, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. E3, they're going to bring out so much shit that's going to make this look like crap. <laughs> yeah. Because as they confirmed, it's coming this holiday season. Ah, uh, just in time for Christmas. Oh. Hey. Okay, when, now, I don't know how you all feel about shooters. You know, they're oh. not my favorite thing, but mm-hmm. I absolutely love Killzone. I love it for that whole, um... It's essentially Nazis in space. That's exactly well, what it space is. Space Nazis. British space yeah. Nazis, mind and you. I, dude, when they show that game, and you could see it wasn't oh. pre-rendered because you could see, like, there was a few of the NPCs that were the same, and, like, you could see some pop in, but holy shit was that detailed. Now, let's be fair. Killzone doesn't exactly have the best track record when it comes to trailers for uh, okay. big I new generations. Okay. Let's say the second one. Okay, the second one was totally, you know the first video but the yeah. game came pretty damn close to that yeah. if you go watch the kill zone 3 you know the opening compared to the original it's pretty damn close the visual uh, fidelity was there it, it looked interesting i'm kind of bored by shooters but hey it looked pretty i'll uh, give it I'm, that i'm much. bored by shooters hands down but i, I do love I, I love kill zone so I, I, i'm not as invested in the series i haven't played enough of it but yeah if you're excited then hey i'm excited mm. I, I I don't like shooters. I mean, well, Doom and Wolfenstein. Well, um, <laughs> man, you were disappointed that they didn't announce a new Wolfenstein. <laughs> um, well, Deus Ex. Uh, also, hey, my let... girlfriend's calling. Um, but those are the only shooters I like. Um, who let that's... Captain PC in here? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Do you even do, actually? I, I meant to ask you this, Sean, before we started recording. Do you own a PS3? Uh, no, actually, I don't. Yeah, the fuck <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been meaning to get one, like, for the longest, but I... <laughs> He's the, the thing... other side of it. No, no, the thing is, I've, I've been wanting to get one, like, because I've right. never had any money, so I couldn't really get one, so we, like, the only thing we had was, like, an Xbox well, 360. He doesn't <laughs> yeah. have money, because he didn't, he doesn't have an education. We already oh, yeah, and I'm not fixed, so. Yeah, you know, yeah. But, oh, anyway, so, um, okay, I absolutely loved all the... That game knock they showed, mm. that yeah, literally that's... looked like a Pixar movie come to life. Yes, it did. Yeah, oh, holy wow. I was shit. amazed how nice that looked. Like, pretty. Like, not just that it had right. good graphics, but it had now, a good art style. Now, you know, like, first generation on console always tend to look, you know, eh. Imagine yeah. what the next Ratchet and Clank is going to look like in, like, three wow. years into the PS4 life. And if Naughty Dog ever brings back Jack and Daxter. Dude, oh, I want my... Naughty Dog to friggin' buy back the rights to Crash. Bring that yeah. back. Yeah, I know. It's a, Crash was one of the poster boys of Sony forever. It's so unfair that he's not there. As a matter of fact, when they had the opening little movie they did of the great Sony heroes, he was there. Crash was there. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, and I was so waiting... was Kazuma Kiryu of Yakuza. So, boo, Yakuza yeah, fan for life. I was waiting for, you know, to play Get out of here, Joel. <laughs> for a new announcement. I'm like, yeah, no, no. But, you know, I'm fine with it because it's somewhere down the road. We know they're developing a new Crash game. Yeah. But I was... Okay, how about that? Um, now all of you guys, you probably don't care about driving games, right? Oh, no. I, I kind of like unless it's Grand Theft right. Auto. Now you know that's like my one thing that people always get lost at. Like they're like, "Yeah, hey, what kind of games do you like?" I'm like, "I like driving simulators." Now everybody <laughs> pauses. They're like, "What?" Like the really hardcore. Oh, ones. I love hardcore driving simulators. Like you know where you get to tweak the engine, you know the exhaust, all that. Well, you like, like Fast and the Furious oh, yeah. too, so it kind of like, makes sense. I'm, I'm like crazy obsessed with that. And when they showed off that game, like. That was so detailed. Uh, it looks so good. Oh, like, it's definitely know, like, one of 
when they oh, zoom into like the cotton fibers, you know, and everything is individually threaded. Like I seriously had like one of those, you know, virtual boners <laughs> on. Yeah. It's something that like my um my older brother Chris would love because he is he is in love with cars, so he Gearhead. would probably get, yeah basically he would probably like get this and just be like. Holy shit! He, he would just train himself to be like a mechanic. <laughs> He'd be like, "Oh man, I could do all this types of stuff," you know? Right. Actually, I I told you guys about that, right? Because um, like a year ago when I was playing Grand Turismo Hardcore, mm-hmm. but there was a problem with our car, and it was the uh, you know, I, I can't remember what the hell it was, the transmission, and we couldn't figure it out. I was like, "Don't take the mechanic. I'll figure this out." So I went into Grand Turismo, <laughs> hit the same model car, and tweaked the parts till I got the same problem. And I was able to figure out the problem. <laughs> Are you That's serious? Awesome. Dude, it's that detailed of a fucking like I love that aspect of driving games and this Who says game. Video games rot your mind. Yeah, yeah really. Totally not. They really don't. I mean, yeah, sure. I want to run out into the street, beat up an old woman, and steal our money. Of course. <laughs> um, and yeah. I want a plus four, you know, sort of unholy darkness, but until a fan sends it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was everybody else's highlight? For me, it was the driving game and Kill Zone. I'm not even going to mention Watch Dogs because we all know that's our number one. So, pick something else. Yep. For me, I was genuinely amazed uh, at all the social components they were adding to it that I didn't think were stupid. Where they're like, "Hey, here's the share button. This is going to make uh, let's playing so easy because literally, if you have a cool moment, you hit the button." It records what you're doing and then uploads it to Facebook and I would assume YouTube and everything else as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's kind exactly. of amazing that there's just a button in there that lets you do it. Yeah. I, I kind of love that idea. Genuinely, I was amazed we saw as much game footage as we did. I thought it was just going to be, hey, here's the console. Isn't it badass? Right. We didn't on. even see the damn console. No, we didn't. How ridiculous is that? They got us all hard. They got actually, us all no, hot the console hard. actually has um has Red Hood on it. and <laughs> We couldn't handle the Red Hood. Or no, the console is just invisible. <laughs> That's the new thing. They now, developed how about the technology. craziest news, which literally made my jaw drop? Blizzard. I did not expect Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. What the fuck? Yeah. Wow. Like, and, I, like, I was literally speechless for a second. I'm like, no, no, this is like, this is bigger than when they brought Gabe Newell out for, you know, to announce, you know, the partnership with PS3. Yeah. And how crazy was it that we're going to get Diablo even better than the PC version, the full thing, four player co op, you know, drop great. in and drop out, stream everything, day and date on PS3 and PS4. Yeah, I think it's amazing that someone took Diablo and made it so, you know, a console player like me could play it instead of the PC gaming master race that yeah, makes it's up Yeah, it's kind of rare when a console actually beats out the PC. Right, right. But the thing he said and the wording he used, and this came up a couple times, when they're like, oh, it will be available on PS3 and PS4. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> don't definitely... tell me... Oh, yeah, They're definitely ahead. doing it, because like, we know, like, um, you know, Diablo's come in, so there's going to be the scaled-down version, of course, mm-hmm. to not leave people behind, and then there's going to be, the, you know, the best version, which is obviously going to be the PS4 yeah. version. Th- so that then, always bugged you know, me during the crossover from PS2 to PlayStation 3. They're like, hey, here's this not-so-good PS2 version. Right. Well, I mean, the <laughs> PS3 still holds up, so, you, you know, people will be lucky, mm-hmm. but it's like... When Bungie also came out, and what a fuck yeah. you to Microsoft they oh, gave. Oh, that was great. Oh. Is that <laughs> even, even legal? Dude, even in their video, they're like, you know what it's like when you're stuck making the same thing over and over. It's like, Ugh. ooh, <laughs> right there, bam. Ouch. Right in the Xbox. Well, I mean, <laughs> Activision knows exactly what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Activision was surprising too. They showed off Destiny and not another Call of Duty, which was right. interesting. Dude, Destiny, that game. Like, it looks great. That looks game, very yeah. Star Wars. I, I don't think I've seen enough of it, but from what they've shown, it looks very pretty. I like Halo multiplayer enough, and I like Bungie and how they develop enough that well, I know they're, they're taking everything they learned, and they're just going to make it amazing. Mm-hmm. We had Square Enix 2 showing off not actual any gameplay footage, just, hey, look how pretty our cutscenes can be. Right, right. <laughs> well, the rumor thought, was that yeah. was an actual... um you know, like a Final Fantasy game that's in development. So it could still be, because they did say they're going to show off Final Fantasy at E3. Mm-hmm. When are they going to make an, a, an actual, like, good Final Fantasy game? Like, yeah. uh, Go back all to the... Final Fantasy IX. Never. You know why? Because all the people who made Final Fantasy what it was left and have joined other companies now. Play Persona, buy an Atlas game, everybody. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, buy it. Yeah, Atlas. Oh, uh, yeah. also, like, don't seriously. I, I honestly don't like Final Fantasy. I won't actually. I won't even get into Final Fantasy because I just go on a huge rant. Yeah, that's also, a whole other podcast. Also, did uh, the Square Enix even uh, like? Did they announce or probably are never gonna announce another Deus Ex? Because I really want that. No, uh, they they well, they're probably just developing it. That they're, they're developing the movie for it at the moment. Yeah, oh, exactly. Jesus Christ. Written by one of the former Spill guys, if you can believe that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Cargill oh. is writing. Oh, the, uh, the long haired dude. Yeah, who also wrote Sinister, so there you go. He wrote Sinister? Oh, yes. Sinister was actually I good. S- I gotta yeah, see yeah. that. Yeah, he wrote <laughs> Sinister. Another thing, the Quantic. Was it Quantic? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. okay. I don't they're... know why. Holy why shit. Why the fuck do people not like Heavy Rain? I because don't... <laughs> there's lots, it, lots of reasons. <laughs> because there's of press lots of reasons and memes. <laughs> everybody complains, well, why do every game, why does every game have to be linear? Why can't every game react to what I do? So they finally give you a game to react to every single thing that you do, and people are like, well, I want a linear game. Because there's... <laughs> Why? Because there's no way to lose Heavy Rain, and after multiple playthroughs, it really falls apart. <laughs> That's a lot. Across but... the parking lot. <laughs> what other game compares to it, though? Like, is there Walking any Dead, which is much that... better. You would well, say that? Um... Yes, I would say The Walking Dead eats Heavy Rain's lunch. I think it's better. The kid characters are way better. Oh, yeah, way better. Way which better. is something that Heavy Rain kind of fails at, that the kid in that game that drives the plot isn't really a kid. He's a prop, is what he is. He's a gold Jason. star in Mario. Yeah, Jason. I don't it's, know. It's I, would, I still teamwork. feel that. I still feel I, that. I, that that's, that's how I feel personally. And I know some people disagree. I know you're a huge fan of Heavy Rain, Armin, and I respect your opinion. That's just me. At least Heavy Rain's better than Indigo Prophecy. Yeah, well, well that one You know, it had time to hand. evolve. Yeah, yeah. really. Well, that yeah, one kind of craps his pants right around the time they bring out Ancient Mystical Cult. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Doing and another shit, thing shit. about Heavy Rain is that it's basically half a game. They cut, they cut a huge portion out of it, this whole magical side plot oh, that yeah. just kind of has to keep I going. I they did. I mean, because, you know, it, it kind of would have ruined everything in the game, honestly. It's still half a game. But again, we're talking about PS4. We're talking about David Cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the thing he showed looked really cool. The whole graphic technology he was showing mm-hmm. off. Mm. Oh, don't forget it showed Randy Pitchford, so don't believe anything he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Randy. He seems like a nice man when he's not lying. At least it yeah. wasn't like Peter Mullenlings. Oh, oh yeah, Peter, Peter Mullenlings. You. These trees grow in real time. No, in they real don't. time. <laughs> and welcome to Fable 17. <laughs> I'm going to show you exactly how your penis gets erect and shriveled over the course of your life. <laughs> Now, watch actually... this demo of this dog. Fuck you, Peter. <laughs> watch next, uh, the next Fable is just going to be like a pair of like uh, VR goggles and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to wear glad... and you're like, you are the character. Every time you get older, your character is going to become so... 40 and alone. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, Matt, that you brought up the whole Peter Molyneux thing. Because there really wasn't anything during this Sony press conference where I'm like, boring, or kind of rolled my eyes. Nothing. There was no nothing. wonder book. Everything they brought out was interesting or kind of interesting. Uh-huh. Mm. There was that nothing creative there. thing they did with the move controller. Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, that that was actually cool. I'm like, huh. If it, I was an artist. Did, did you understand the concept of that though? Everything that's made is getting dumped into a giant online server that essentially acts like your own personal playground you could go grab houses characters drop them into a world and you start making your own video games with other assets brings yeah. my dreams yeah. to Dude, life like we can see up... the video game <laughs> yeah CBC, the video game it's going to be a bunch of dick towers and like <laughs> yeah. vagina chasms and everything is pick... all floppy wet and nasty <laughs> yeah you can pick one of us as our playable character and we each have different power sets mine of course is to talk about the secret six at length just to bore the enemies and just DC universe. <laughs> oh, I love that. Like you, you talk to um, you talk to Joel's character, and it's just like endless text. Every time you talk to Joel, he pops up a thing of dialogue that's longer than the fucking Bible, and it's useless <laughs> no. DC info. It's like it's like part one of forty-seven pages. Of <laughs> Quick, Joel, hit him with useless knowledge. Quick, Sean, hit him with a sex story. <laughs> so here's what I was Armin, telling piss you off about everybody by story. hating on everything. Yeah. Really, <laughs> Matt, just come in here and be Shark Pouch. <laughs> Matt, g- g- come in, be quiet for most of the show, but then get a really funny joke in. 
spin. And that's how the comic yeah, book no. cat saved Tamriel. <laughs> uh, now, how about that game that um, Capcom showed off? Deep Down? Yeah, and the biggest thing that got me excited for is imagine the next Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, basically. Gross. I, I thought it was Dragon's Dogma 2. That's what I thought it was Dragon's Dogma yep. 2, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. well, isn't Deep Down just a working title, so they probably yeah. could yeah. just be like, hey, it's a sequel. Mm. But what I love, too, is that, you know, all fantasy needs to be dark fantasy, so everybody looks really ugly and is covered in shit. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> realistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much like my dream porno. Yep. I mean, and also, I'm I'm really like drawn, just naturally drawn to like games where it's like sword and sorcery type of thing. It's I like, never oh. was when I was younger, but now I'm getting older, and you know, fucking like fuck you and your violent video games. I'm all like, <laughs> yeah, fucking fantasy and shit. Exactly. Yeah. Same here. Like same here. Like when I was younger, I didn't I did not like Lord of the Rings or anything or D and D, but now I'm just like, huh. I'm actually naturally drawn to this type of stuff because I, I find it interesting. I mean, like, yep. you could fight, like, an ogre or a dragon. When I was, like, a little, you know, when I was a little retarded 12, 13-year-old Armin, I was all like, dude, young blood and Red Hood and Azrael and Halo is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I don't think Red Hood existed back then, but okay. When did Red Hood get in invented? He's a, he's a fairly recent creation. Under the Hood didn't happen until, like, 2005. Now I gotta find this shit out. God damn it, Joel. That's another thing, wait, too. Wait, wait, people... Red Hood was... Wait, wasn't Red Hood, like, originally Joker, though? Yeah, yeah but that was the original Joker. So there you go. Yeah, there, I mean, so like... Red Hood was still there. So Red Hood still exists. It wasn't the Red Hood we know now, but a Red Hood existed. <laughs> a Red Hood was there, yeah. <laughs> Good old a Red Hood. But, but seriously, Red... deep down, I'm, I'm actually going to get that. Like, honestly, I, I'm probably going to end up liking it. But I just really hope it doesn't turn into, like, another, like, Dark Souls, you know? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, Dark Souls, I was like, okay, that seems like a like like a type of uh, D&D type of thing. All right, I'll play it. Oh, I'm, I'm getting killed <laughs> almost immediately. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Dark Souls. <laughs> and, of course, the game that we were all talking about, the one that was so, you know, jizz-worthy that we actually all jumped onto Facebook just to talk to each other about how awesome it was. And that is... Star Wars. <laughs> yes, Star. Yeah, yeah, God, d d no one has my back. No one's helping me. Yeah, out. It's like it's like poetry. It sort of it doesn't rhyme. Yeah, actually. it sort of rhymes. Okay. Uh, Watch sort of. Dogs. Watch Dogs, dude. Fuck yes. Good lord, this game is amazing. It dude, I want that free. game. That that game is essentially what you get when you combine the best sex ever with the best sex ever twice. <laughs> what it's I love is just... that game how original it's looking where i'm like damn that's a cool idea this guy finds god's uh iphone right it's not just that it's like when he was doing the whole runaway thing mm -hmm. he ran into a couple of walls where you literally saw him break the script because you know he had to do a scripted like he's like oh and he quickly turns around and starts panicking i was like yeah. oh my god like the world in that game like how everything is built just Wow. It's, te it's tech noir and in the now, best way. We haven't even talked huh. about with that game and how they're integrating everything into Facebook and stuff. You know they're going to be like, when I'm playing, like, let's say the four of us are playing, right? Mm. Yeah. Because they said it's going to be a co op type of game experience, too. Oh, really? You know yeah, when, yeah, you so can like, drop in and out and shit. Right. And... Wow. So you know when I'm playing and, like, you know, Joel shows up on my screen. If I have him accepted on my friends list for, you know, like, um,. You know, like, th that whole full reveal they said, like, you can set certain friends to see all their, like, real name and all that shit, like, we see on mm -hmm. each other's Facebook. You mm -hmm. know it's going to legitimately bring up where you actually work and all that. <laughs> you know how crazy that shit's going to be? Very <laughs> much so. It's, it's as much a social experiment as it is a game. Right, right. Which is why I'll be shooting everybody I see. <laughs> In the game, I mean. You'd be oh. like, hmm. well, I, I was already getting my gun ready. Like, gun walls and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it looks super cool. <laughs> I, I, I will say one thing, though. I get a very... I, it is Ubisoft, and it definitely looks like an Ubisoft game where I'm hoping where... Uh, wow, this, this thing looks so good because the guy who's playing it knows how to handle it. I'm hoping when I get a hold of it, it isn't like Assassin's Creed where I keep running into walls and shit, and I can't <laughs> make it look half as cool as they oh, made it I know. look. I always hate that about that. And, and because uh, you suck at every video game, Joe. <laughs> I swear I'm good at video games. 
<laughs> and with the share button, you will see I'm good at video games. <laughs> How does the share button work? <laughs> We're all going to hack Joel's profile and put like, someone else on, and he just... Like, nah. Well, that, that's another thing. Remote play. You can, yeah. remote, oh my you God. can come in and take over someone's controller. Yeah, I don't it's... see that causing problems. Now, let's yeah. talk about the other minor detail that I don't think a lot of people picked up on. They said almost every game they have plans on, if your friend is playing it and you're having trouble... You'll be able to be like, hey, I need a potion or whatever in this game. And someone will be able to drop it in their game for you. So kind of like that whole Dark, Dark Souls orb mm -hmm. type of thing. Yeah. Except they're implementing that in almost every game by the sound of it. That's insane. Like, dude, the social integration here is going to be insane. I guess that's the way games are going now. I mean, no one actually plays games on the couch with their buddies anymore because right. their buddies are on the internet and all over the I place. I honestly feel like that this generation that we're currently getting out of was the stopgap to this generation like mm. it was like the minor okay where are we actually going but like the next generation like genuinely feels like oh sh this shit is getting real now you know yeah. and uh, not to mention too they brought up the idea of the cloud which is still this oh. new kind of idea but what blew me away is that they said that uh this may mean cross compatibility for all their old shit like i yep. can play my old ps1 games or ps2 yep. games that i've got That's sticking awesome. around I can tell you because I've used Gaikai on my PC to play shit. Mm -hmm. It works amazing. Like, there was almost no latency playing The Witcher 2. Now, this is cool, too, with the idea that you can play your well, old games and yeah, shit because... Just, like, I thought that was cool, but what really blew me away was like, hey, you like that game in the store? You click... You can demo any game yes. straight up through the streaming service, and if you like it, you click play now. Within a minute, you'll be playing it while it downloads. This is and, important, too, because I like oh. the idea of games existing in the cloud for, you know, uh, historical means. Right, that, right. like, you know, now I don't have to hunt down another console if I want to play an old game or exactly. something. Yeah. Because it can just exist in the cloud. That's because, you know, I, I do a lot of movie stuff on my channel. And to think it's something like the first 40 years of movies oh, yeah. don't exist Cinema anymore. Cinema is like gone. How yeah, about all the Doctor Who that's missing? Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, our, our meme brought up a Doctor Who thing. Yes, Holy yes. Shit. I and know was some right. shit about Doctor Who, but, you know, it's just not my thing. I did my research. Did, I respect did we corrupt it. it? Did, did he catch the virus? Did he catch the Who crap? Nope, I did not. <laughs> no. Or me sitting there with a sonic screwdriver in his hand. <laughs> uh, that's called my vibrator. Because <laughs> he's <a> dick. <laughs> so... Uh, um, with this whole um, whole thing, with like you say, you could play games and sh like while it downloads. So that means I can find any game like within like like actually within like the entire PlayStation run, like from one to right, three right. or For whatever. Yeah, essentially, yes. So I can find like old like Parappa the Rapper, Parappa yes. the Rapper two. Like no. uh, all right, <laughs> Chrono Cross. What all this opens up, like you know, PlayStation Plus to me is a huge value. I pay 50 bucks a year, and today I got Vanquish for free. I get to play. That's a great game, right? Now, uh -huh. you know they're going to include some sort of thing. It's like, okay, well, 7 bucks a month gets you this. Pay 20 bucks a month, and you have unlimited streaming service and, you know, like this yeah. many games, like Netflix style. You know how much, like, people are just going to trip balls over that. Yeah. Might make mm -hmm. me actually get PlayStation Plus, to which I don't actually have. It's the greatest value I've ever seen in actually paying for a service. Well, and that's the other question, too. People are saying that with PlayStation 4, are they going to pull an Xbox and make you pay for online? I highly doubt it. I, I think they'll keep the basics for free, but if you want, like, the streaming features and mm. shit, then you'll probably have to. At which mm. case, yeah. I might be willing to shell out the extra money for it. So yeah. cool. It's really cheap for, like, a year's subscription. Right. It's right. so cheap. Well, I have well, lots it, of other services I'm paying for, like drugs and pornography. I mean, at least it, is, <laughs> at least it isn't like Microsoft where they're like, hey, pay like $80 for like two years. Like, right, right. What? Now, what about the, like, the like you know, a lot of people weren't even blown away. Like, no one's talking about the tech specs, which was the shit I was really excited for. Yeah, that's for. more. Your, they opened now, the show with tech specs, which when, I okay. was just lost. When, they're talking about the, you know, the CPU eight core you know it's an actual you know adx style cpu so it's straight up it's literally they have a pc in there yeah every yeah. developer's gonna know how to use it but yeah, what really blew my mind is they go oh and guess what the whole user interface and everything you're doing doesn't even use that it uses a separate cpu to offload onto huh. 
like it's offloaded onto a secondary device that's always running in the background doing all the shit that it's not taking up main memory and you know video ram and shit like that that the prospect of having that so you know sometimes now you're playing a game and you hit the middle button and it takes time to load Mm -hmm. yeah this is literally going to be instant it's not going to slow down your system to stream or anything like that like there's so much smart in this that you you really have to be like is Sony actually developing this because there's too much smart in this. Yeah, yeah, too yeah, much genius. Say, yeah, maybe now I can get my actual DLC from Bethesda uh, when it comes out. Maybe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just maybe. Your Just dreams maybe. shall be shattered. <laughs> so, that's, a, that's another thing you can now download while playing games, but also download in low power mode. Wow. So you, it, your, your console can essentially be off. Oh, yeah. And it's just offloaded onto just the download. secondary. Yeah, and That's you just cool. hit it, and it boots up off so a small, you know, idling stance. Hmm. That I like. And you can leave your game, you like, you can turn it off, and then turn the controller back on, and you'll be back where you started, yeah. like, left in the game. I mean, I guess it's so true what we've been saying forever now, that console gaming has basically becoming more and more like PC gaming. Yep. Yep. And, you know, like... What one of the big surprises, you know, you're really looking at this and you're thinking, you're like, wow, they're, you know, everything they're saying is so what I want to hear. It's almost I know, too right? good to be true until That's they actually. That's what I thought. Yeah, everything's too good to be true, and then they actually show you them doing it. You're like, oh my god, they're not lying. <laughs> Again, I'm not fully won over yet. I always like to be uh, cautiously uh, optimistic of on just course. about everything, but so far, I like everything I'm hearing. I agree 100%. I mean, it's, it's like someone is finally, finally licking my balls. I mean, just finally. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, Sean. I think they'll have to put that on the box. Yeah. The <laughs> comic book cast will... says, it's almost like someone's licking my balls. Put that on the box, Sony. No, no, no. no. It's <laughs> like someone's licking my balls the correct way. <laughs> oh, Not the wrong way. From the anus up? Uh, <laughs> no, actually, from the taint up. <laughs> I, I I do believe that's called a uh, rusty trombone. PlayStation Four rim job certified. It says coming from the past. <laughs> Everyone's bo- I would love that if like that was on the box and it sold out like just instantly. Yeah, it sells out to the uh, ex hamster crowd. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, you Us. know, you could stream. You you could stream. Uh, like you know porn on this thing everybody's like what <laughs> oh i'm actually glad you brought up streaming there uh with everything they're talking about right now about maybe making it more like a computer i think that means maybe the internet won't be ass when i try and use it <laughs> okay i don't know why yeah. everybody has trouble with that literally i have no troubles with speeds or anything no i don't either i was like, on the on my wii and that was problem <laughs> Dude, it's ass for me every time I try and use the PlayStation or the internet on the PlayStation Three. I, I never have a single issue. All my shit is fast. Kinds of I don't problem. have problems with it. Like, um, maybe it's that's because you guys have search. good like internet guess, connection. No, I'm guessing that's a problem with how they um run their stupid uh like you know interface and stuff. Because I had to physically go change my settings to my internet in the router. To fix it to what they recommended. Like, they don't have a manual thing in there that, like, pushes it uh, to be correct. <laughs> right. And uh, another thing, too. Maybe uh, the new PlayStation 4 store won't suck. Oh, fuck the new store, dude. I know. The new it's store is... the reason such... I stopped playing my PS3s because the new store is a piece of shit. Yeah. Shit, I was hoping that's what they would announce. Oh, yeah, and the new PlayStation 4 has a new store. Look at it. Isn't, Isn't it pretty... weird that I... Like, even though I got a 360, I'm so leaning towards, like, PS4 on on the sole reason for like Metal Gear and that's it. That that's the only thing. Get your revengeance <laughs> on. No, it's, yeah, dude, that game looks fun. I don't care what anyone says. That game looks it does fun. Look fun. Dude, and also the fact that like you like oh you could play uh, all the old like PlayStation One games and stuff. I'm getting me Metal Gear Solid, the PlayStation One version, because Twin Snakes it's good, but it's like. You could see all the animu type of stuff in the cutscenes. It's like, oh, Snake does a like like a a flip just to get on the other side of a door. It's like, what? <laughs> Why would he flip over a door to get on the other side? Just move. I know, he's right? Snake. Yeah, exactly. Damn right he's Snake. Oh, and he also, do what he, he wants. Like, ju- yeah, like somebody fires a rocket at him. What does he do? A backflip. <laughs> like, Snake is like Honey Badger. He does what he wants. He can it's... give a fuck. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, but still, I, and also, I am not, I'm not touching Metal Gear Solid Two. I like it, but whatever. Uh, yeah. 
MGS three is the best game in the world, but still. I know oh. very little about Metal Gear. I think I might need keep to keep it that way. No, 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 Joel, do not play Metal Gear. Just keep it that way. Actually, <laughs> just um, keep it that way. Actually, you could play Metal Gear. Just don't don't. Oh wait, I just story. said don't play Metal Gear on a Sony podcast. I am so fucked in the comments. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, you could. <laughs> no, no, play it's Metal... okay, guys. It's okay, guys. God of War is a piece of shit too. Don't worry. Hey, I like the God. Uh, actually, I do like God of War. I actually yeah. love that series. God of War 2 might be my favorite hack and slash of all time. Okay, so before we derail into off topic and into whatever the hell else, um, is, yeah. let's uh, let's grade what we thought of the overall, you know, conference. You know, on a, you know, out of ten scale. To me, honestly, it was like a nine point five out of ten. It would have been a ten if only they announced the price. Yeah, yeah, that I would have very much liked <laughs> Instead that. Instead of that, like last time with PS, what PS3? Jesus, five hundred ninety-nine was... US. Fuck you, Kaz. I would have liked a price. I would have liked a release date, and I really would have liked to know what it looks like. Yeah. So what what, what are you grading it? I I would give it the same as you. They showed me lots of shit I would like. The the only thing that would have put them over the top is if they're like, hey, we're bringing back Parappa the Rapper. We're bringing <laughs> back friggin' Panzer Dragoon. <laughs> Oh, we're dude, doing that, Legend yeah. of Dragoon 2. Yeah. Or we're doing another Chrono game, although I think that's more on Square Enix than anyone yeah. else. I, w- I would so love another Parappa the Rapper. Yeah. Chop, chop, yeah. So give me some grades, and then we'll end this episode. Uh, nine. Mm-hmm. Parappa the Rapper. Nine Parappa the <laughs> Rappers. Nine Parappa the Rappers out of ten Nathan Drakes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, saying, I was saying the reason why I, I gave it that, because of Parappa the Rapper. All right, and Matt? Uh, probably a 9.5. Mm-hmm. Everybody got a Like 9. I said, Everybody. best conference since uh, the last conference I can remember, which isn't many. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, thanks everybody for joining us. Um, let us know in the comments, what are you most excited for? Mm-hmm. What do you most want to see? And what is your favorite, you know, PlayStation brand game ever? We're all just going to agree it's Uncharted. And if you disagree, go to hell. <laughs>